Hello, Julian here and welcome. I am going to show you how you can set up fully customizable, fully integrated with member stack chats, group chats, all sorts of things in your Webflow site pretty quickly. Now, I just want to start by saying that this is using the Talk.js SDK. And if you do not know what that is, it is absolutely phenomenal. It is amazing. It covers a lot of things for you, which I will explain throughout this video, but it is also starting at $239 a month. So it is most definitely worth it if you are building a business with a good bit of paying users. That being said, I don't think this is something that you're going to want to implement into your hobby projects, maybe newer, lower budget projects, whatever it may be. But if you do have a bigger budget, then this is immensely worth it as you'll see throughout this video. Now, if that is the case and you are working with a smaller budget, there's also member chat, which is made by a community member and the feature set is definitely more simple. That being said, it does work with member stack for a working member to member chat. So go check that out. I believe it starts at $49 a month, which is quite a bit better. Anyways, without further ado, I'm going to get right now into showing you how this works showcasing a couple things, and then we're going to go through the project. I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know. And yeah, so anyways, over here, we already have an account set up, but let's go ahead and make one from scratch over here. So there we go. All right, so sign up, could have signed up with Google. I didn't. Anyways, now let's go ahead and upload a profile picture. This fellow over here who I've already screenshotted and then let's go ahead and call him Bob. So complete profile and what we now have over here is this one-on-one -on -one chat thing. Just, you know, a whole bunch of different things that we can do. So anyways, let's just go ahead and do the most simple thing first, which is send a message to the account that I've set up on this browser over here. So anyways, I'm going to click that and I'm going to say, hey, Julian. And I don't know if you could hear that, but I also just got a notification. And when I go over here, I get this little alarm notification, whatever it is that you'd want to call it. Now I'm going to go to chats and, oh, sorry. Now this is going to take me back here. I want to go to inbox. So if I go to inbox, then as we can see here, our friend Bob sent a message just like that. And now if I start typing, you can see that it's showing up just like that. I can send photos, I can send voice messages, I can reply like that. It is a fully complete one-on-one -on -one chat. And also, if I am not logged in right now, so we can see how it says active, um, if I was not active, then it would send me an email and say that Bob sent you a message and you can reply to the email to respond. You can even configure SMS notifications so that it sends people texts. You can really do anything and it is fully, fully customizable. So anyways, I'm gonna to continue to show you around over here. Let's go over back to chats and, you know, I can send a message to any one of these people and also it's filtering out to not show me myself. Then let's go ahead and create a group. So this is a lot harder to implement. Uh, that being said, it is fully, you know, possible. And this right here, this is a Webflow form. This is not a plugin, nothing like that. I'm gonna go ahead and say people, and let's just go ahead and add the real people who are in here. So there we go, group chat. And I'm now gonna go ahead and say, hello, this is testing. And I got a message over here. Now, if I go over here again, we can see Bob is online. Hello, this is testing. Um, really cool. I, as you can see, quite cool. And you may be looking and thinking, okay, so how is that synced up with member stack? It's just getting the name. Maybe it's pulling that from a custom field, whatever it may be. I am going to show you as well now changing my profile picture and my name. So let's just go ahead and rename this fellow to Bobbert. Lovely name there. And then select a new image. Let's just go ahead and pick this one. There we go. Oh, got to fix that. Bobber, complete profile. And there we go. So now if I go over here, we can see that we have Bob. 
But if I refresh, sometimes it takes a little bit, but let's see, I'm gonna go back here, for example, and we can see Bobbert. And then if I click Bobbert right there, we can see that it has been updated fully. It is working. So anyways, that is about it on the displaying things front. Now I am going to get into actually making it work. So first I just wanna start by explaining things that are not related to chat, or sorry, not related to Talk.js. Um, so what we've got going on over here is a make scenario and that is this. I've left the blueprint on the resources page so that you can check that out. It is watching for updated members, filtering based on if their CMS ID exists, and then it's either updating an item or creating an item. In Webflow, what we have is in the CMS, we have the users and they have these fields. So name and slug, obviously, member ID, which is taking it from member stack, CMS ID, which is taking this and putting it as a field. It's very important to make things work, unfortunately. Um, then we have the photo URL and we have the email. So regarding that photo URL, what we need to do, just because we can't pass that through yet with make, we have a little bit of a workaround. So on the onboarding page over here, we've got our profile picture, just like that. And we also have this script. Just paste it in, you're good to go. And then in the profile form, we've got this field right here, which is hidden. And it's just taking the URL, putting it in there, adding it as a custom field. Kind of annoying, but that's what you gotta do to make things work. So anyways, that is about it on the non-talk.js front. So now let's get into actually implementing talk.js, some of the things that are important, so on and so forth. So one thing that I want to reiterate and make super clear is that this, most of this stuff is not even any form of a plugin. As you can see here, this is directly within Webflow. These notification badges are directly within Webflow. This form to create a group chat is directly within Webflow. And the stuff that is not directly within Webflow, if you go into your Talk.js dashboard, which while I'm here, I may as well say, you can also moderate both automatically and manually the chats, which is quite awesome. Um, but you can customize absolutely everything. So I'm using this default theme over here and you can see this, but you know, most things you can just go ahead and set with some simple values and the things that you can't, you have full control over the HTML and the CSS of everything. So I could move this, I can make it fully custom. I could change this to match exactly how I want. Like for example, over here, I, everything is using this color and it has a five pixel radius and the boxes are using the shadow. So I added that in. This was gray, so I made it gray. The font is intertight, so I made it intertight. That is a more simple version, but you can literally do anything that you want. It is beyond insane. So that is with these chat boxes and everything. You cannot build those directly within Webflow, unfortunately, but again, you have total control and you won't really need to write any code. You'll just need to edit the ones that are there. So anyways, let's get back over here into Webflow and quickly just check what is going on over here. So, okay, let's start from the top with the way that this implementation works. So I'm gonna go to the settings over here and take a look at the custom code. So first of all, we've got our member stack script and we've got jQuery, which a couple scripts are using. jQuery is not needed for Talk.js. Um, then in the footer code, we first are just adding the Talk.js SDK into our site. Then the next thing that we're doing is actually waiting for member stack to initialize. And then we are getting all of the inform information from that member. So we are getting their custom fields, their member ID, everything directly from member stack based on their session. Then after that, we are initializing talk.js creating the session with the app ID, and then we're sending out an event saying that the session is ready. And sounds boring, but that is being used everywhere else. So as we can see here, this is the unread conversation notifications, and it's waiting for that session to be ready. And then it is doing what it's supposed to do. And that allows us to have much shorter snippets for everything else to make them work. 
So that's it on the site-wide level. Now let's get back into the designer. So once it loads, there we go. So, all right, let's start with the chat page. So what we've got over here is, of course, the members are in a collection list, and this is just a collection list wrapper. Now, one thing that you may notice if I go back over here to chat is that this is logged into the Julian one, and I cannot see Julian in there. This is logged into the Bobbert one, and I cannot see Bobbert in there. Uh, the reason for that is because we have a couple of things. First of all, what we have over here is an attribute, which is ms-code-member-id. Value is pulling this member ID from the CMS. Then we've also got some custom code, and it is member script 44. But the difference is that in member script 44, this is set to flex or block. So just replace flex or block with none. And then it's going to hide everything that matches that member ID. So we're going to go over there. Then what we've got as well is these notifier badges. And these are using this class notifier-badge. And that is chosen from the custom code in the site-wide level at the bottom there. You can just keep the code and make yours also notifier-badge. Um, but if you don't want to or can't for some reason, then you could just change the code to whatever class it is that you are using. And then that is going to work perfectly. So other than that, on this page, I would say there is nothing that we really need to keep in mind. So let's go ahead and move on over to inbox. So this is this page over here. As you can see, app inbox and the logged in member is just going to see Think of it like when you open Facebook Messenger, just all of their chats, the people, they can turn on notifications, you know, that sort of thing. Um, so what we have on this page is a surprisingly simple piece of code over here. And what this is doing is just waiting for that session to say talk JS is ready. And then it is creating this inbox container and get element by ID talk JS dash container again. If you can't use that ID, you can change the code or just make any div and set the ID talkjs-container. And it is then going to populate the inbox into that container according to whatever it is that you actually set up in talkjs. So that's about it on the inbox page. Quite simple. Now let's skip over here and go to users uh, because it is more simple than the group chats. So. First of all, what users actually means is let's go back over here again and then find any other person and click them. So this, as we can see, is a profile page, basically. And all I'm populating on this profile page is a chat. You know, you could do anything. This could be a full on like social media profile page with a button to open a chat with the person. Do whatever you want. Uh, that being said, it's making it so that on this page, I can send a mem message to this member whose page I clicked. So let's take a look at that right over here. As we can see, I can send them a message. Now let's take a look at how we do that. So I am just going to head over to the page and it is the exact same as that inbox page. Um, again, because I'm not showing anything else, yours probably won't be the same. Uh, just talk JS container, that's that. But the code is a little bit different. So Again, everything that we have, those custom fields in CMS as well are super important. And then we just have this code. You can add this code and you should be good to go if you map your things here. So what this is doing is saying me, the logged in person whose session has been set in the site wide code, start a chat with this person whose page we are on. We're getting their ID, we're getting their name, we're getting their email, we're getting their photo URL, and then the role here is set to default. And I'll explain that after I'm done with this. So then all of this is not anything you should need to worry about. And again, mount it to talk.js container. So that's it. So let's talk about the roles as well. So something that has not really been utilized in this template that has some super powerful capabilities with Talk.js is roles. So you can assign certain roles to certain people depending on how the chat is initialized, which would mean 
that, for example, let's say you have some sort of marketplace platform where two people can go back and forth and you want the seller of a product to be able to send pictures, send voice messages, send locations, send whatever, uh, have a certain chat interface, but you don't want buyers to have the same one, then you can actually set roles and then customize their experience based on which role they are. Um, there are a lot of use cases with that. If you're working on that, check out the chat talk JS, keep saying chat JS documentation. There's a whole bunch of stuff on that and their documentation is amazing. Um, anyways, back into Webflow, and that is it to make that work. Now let's talk about group chats and group chats, at least from my experience, were a lot harder to set up, but they are totally possible and they work amazing. So what we've got over here is two things, actually. One, we have this form here with the ID group chat form. We've got this group name ID, and then these are just flex boxes. Or, sorry, these are just checkboxes. And if I go into these checkboxes, we've got an embed, which is just a hidden paragraph with some JSON information like that, passing it through. And then we've got this button here, which is going to submit the form. So that's pretty simple. But when we go into the code, it gets a little bit more complicated. So what's happening over here. And again, if you use the same setup, the same IDs, it's just going to be a copy and paste, but I'm explaining it so that in case you're using a different setup, you can understand what's going on. So first it's just getting that form right there, getting the value that I put into this group chat field. Um, and then it is getting the checkboxes and the hidden paragraph with the JSON data. Then what it's doing is turning that into an array of people who I want to have a group chat with, and it is then going to start the conversation, mount the chat, and then that that is it. There's some CM CSS right here as well. And this is the same one, member script 44. So then what we've got in Webflow over here too is another section right below, which is just as you can see here, this main section is sticky and this one is below. So when it starts the chat, it's just going to hide this and then show the other one and mount the group chat. And then after that, it can be accessed from within the inbox. So all is good to go there. And I guess with that being said, that is about wrapping it up. So the Talk.js docs are going to be your best friend here. Um, I think you could probably implement this with a pretty simple and similar setup very, very quickly using my example. Um, if you're doing something more complex with different roles, it might take you longer. But again, thanks to the amazing tool that Talk.js is, um, you should be able to get things set up pretty quickly. So anyways, if you have any questions about implementing Talk.js with member stack, then just let me know in the 2.0 Slack or julian at memberstack.com and yeah, I'm excited to hear from you about that. I just want to mention as well that I cannot provide support for Talk.js. In fact, I am most certainly not even an expert in Talk.js. So if you're trying to make something work just with Talk.js related to Talk.js, I would recommend reaching out to their support. And that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it's helpful for you. I'll talk to you soon and have a great day.